Um, I'm gonna do some pulled pork quesadillas today on the Blackstone griddle. Um, I got some pepper jack cheese right here. I got some sharp cheddar. So basically quality and quantity. And then I smoked the pork butt, it took about 10, 11 hours. Um, I'm not gonna show the process on that. I'll make another video on that. Um, basically, basically because I was up pretty late, I put it on like at 5.45 in the morning and I wasn't set up to do any video, so I'll do another video on that. But um, yeah, we're just gonna caramelize some onions. I'm gonna throw some chili peppers on the griddle. I got some big old tortillas and we're gonna just throw some pulled pork on there and it's gonna be nice. So let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna shred this pork butt. Um, I'm gonna use a couple forks right here. It's easier than my hands because it's pretty hot. Um, if you're curious about the actual rub I used, I'll post it down below in the description. Um, basically, it's salt, pepper, chili powder, onion powder, garlic, a little bit of uh, mustard powder, and some cumin. And then we're just gonna get that all prepared. All right, so of course, when you do quesadillas, you gotta have stuff to go with it. So I'm using this Mexican crema right here. I'm gonna use the whole jar of that. I got some chipotles and adobo, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole can of that also. And then I'm just gonna season with salt and pepper, just season to your taste. And then I have the juice of a lime, but I'm also gonna squeeze in there. And then when I blended this all up, it tasted a little bit off to me. So what I did to balance it out is I used about a tablespoon of honey and juiced another lime in there also. I know automatically when people hear pulled pork quesadillas, they're thinking barbecue. Um, if you like barbecue sauce on quesadillas, that's fine. Um, usually I'm not really into barbecue sauce unless I'm doing ribs and you know when I do pulled pork sandwiches That's fine, too, but I like the southwestern style of cooking I like guacamole on um, basically everything and this sauce worked pretty well with that But yeah, like I said, um, if you like that go ahead and use it. I'll just you know trying it a little different here um, But we have our pepper jack cheese grated up. This is the way I clean the griddle I usually get it real hot and put some water on there and wipe it down and then I'm using vegetable oil um, we're just gonna wipe that down and lube it up real good and then I got three small onions and three jalapenos diced up that I'm throwing on there all we're gonna do is cook it on high heat um, caramelize that it's gonna take you about 10 minutes and then throw some salt and pepper or whatever seasonings you like um, just to season it up So once the onions and jalapenos are kind of cooked down and caramelized, I'll just throw them off to the side. And then I got my pulled pork on there. We're just gonna heat it through. Um, some fat's gonna cook out of that a little bit and get a little bit crispy. Um, it's gonna be pretty good when we throw it in the quesadilla. And I was doing a UFC fight party at my house, so I had a couple kids over there and a vegetarian. My bro's a vegetarian. So I just did, um, when I was making these quesadillas, um, I just did a couple of regular ones. And then, you know, most of them had the pulled pork and the onions and jalapenos in it. Uh, I just try to mix it up like that. And all we're doing here is just heating everything up. So once it's, once it's all combined together like that, we're just going to start making our quesadillas. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Got our big old tortillas right there. I'm just going to heat them up, flip them over on both sides, and we're good to go. After looking back at this, I definitely could have added more cheese to some of these quesadillas. But when I'm sitting there making them, you don't really realize it at the time. Because um, I'm kind of worried about you know, what the camera is showing. And then I got people inside, so I was just trying to hurry up. Um, but I guess you live and learn. But at the end of the day, you know, they're just quesadillas. And we're not doing fine dining over here. We're just having a good time. That's what it's all about. And I actually ended up cranking out a good amount of these things. Um, you know, it's good party food slash fight food. So I'm just gonna let this montage roll for you guys right here.
And so there it is, guys, the pulled pork quesadilla madness extravaganza. Um, yeah, sorry if I didn't present this as well as I could have because I had a few beers. So I really, you know, kind of slacked on that. Uh, but actually, that sauce that I was putting on there was probably the most well-received thing out of everything there. Um, you know, the quesadillas were good, but that sauce I'm definitely going to use for tacos in the future because, you know, it came out pretty good. There was smokiness to it. Had a little sweetness to put some honey in there, like I said. And um, I thought it was pretty good. I just kind of thought of it on the fly. So definitely something I'm going to use in the future. Um, if you guys made it through the video, thanks again. I'm going to make more of these videos coming up. Probably some more Blackstone griddle videos because those seem to be more on the popular side than some other stuff that I'm doing. Um, but other than that, thanks again. Like and subscribe. Peace out.